Welcome to Expert Advisor Builder Pro and welcome to the 5-Minute Challenge. In the 5-Minute Challenge, we're going to show you that you can build any expert advisor in 5 minutes. In this first part, we're demonstrating a simple moving average crossover expert advisor, which is perfect for when you're new, but no matter which expert advisor you want to build, it's the same routine. So pay attention to the process and you'll see it's the same for every expert advisor. Today's expert advisor was submitted by Crispin from Zimbabwe, who eventually wants to teach people from his country how to build expert advisors. Thank you, Crispin. We will now look at the trading plan of the moving average crossover expert advisor. We enter a long position when the fast moving average crosses above the slow moving average. At the next candle after the crossover, we enter a short position when the fast moving average crosses below the slow moving average at the next candle after the crossover. We set the stop loss at the price minus 1% of the account balance. We set the take profit at the price plus 2% of the account balance. Let's create the expert advisor. Start by adding an expert advisor to your account. Give your expert advisor a logical name. The first thing we're going to do is add all the indicators we need. We can add more later, but we like to focus on one thing at a time. Our expert advisor uses two different moving average indicators, a fast moving average using 50 daily candles and a slow moving average using 200 daily candles. We will now add the fast moving average. We will explicitly select the daily time frame because our trading plan talks about a 50-day moving average specifically. We will now add the slow moving average indicator. Now that we have added our indicators, we are now going to focus just on the entry part of our trading plan. To create entry conditions, we're going to use the open buy and open sell signals. So forget about all the other parts of your trading plan right now. Here's our long entry criteria. We enter a long position when the fast moving average crosses above the slow moving average. At the next candle after the crossover. Open the open buy signal. Here you can add conditions for when you want to enter a long position. When you select all, the more conditions you add, the more conditions have to be met at the same time before entering a long position. When you select any, the more conditions you add, the more likely any of the conditions will be met and a long position will be open. Add a condition. Select fast moving average. Select shift one because we want to evaluate the previous candle. Shift 0 stands for the current candle, Shift 1 the previous candle, etc. Select up cross. Select slow moving average and select the same bar by also selecting Shift 1. By selecting Shift 1, we've now met the condition that the trade is made at the open of the next candle because our condition is looking at the previous bar. Click Save. We will now create the open sell signal for our short position. We've now completed the entry rules and we are now going to have a look at the exit rules. We want to set stop loss to when the price puts our balance in a 1% minus. To do this, we're going to add the stop loss module, set the value to 1 and set the unit to equity percentage. We've now set the stop loss module to close at 1% loss of your balance. We want to set take profit to when the price puts our balance in a 2% plus
Now that we have set both the entry and exit conditions, we should consider the trade volume. However, the current trading plan doesn't mention trade volume. For now, we will use the default lot size, which is based on the account size. In our next videos, we will address trade volume, which will be covered in the money management section of the expert advisor. That's it. We've created a fully working expert advisor under five minutes.